to deal with all this shit, his home life, you know, and all these other things. Like, you know, for where from where he's come to where he is now, statistically, he either should be dead or in a serious like gang member type thing, so to speak. If you look at all the things that transpired in those years, yeah, that yeah. you know, he he tried to develop and, and do more and better instead of letting it all hold him down or take him down you know in that time frame he experienced quite a lot and I was part of some of those experiences or heard about some of those experiences and I get where he was coming from then and now to see where he is now like kudos to him you know that Mm -hmm. he's not in the casket he's not in jail he's not part of some fucking gang or you know he's doing what he can to make his life he's good he seems Yeah. yeah A lot more peaceful anyways. And it's no one controlled me during those times. No one had my control over me to influence the decisions that I made. So when I joined the gang, understand. Joining a gang for me back then, it wasn't bad. It was actually kinda cool. You know. When you're in the hood joining a gang, it's cool because all your friends are in the gang. Maybe all your family members are in the gang. We weren't just sitting around or thinking about it or plotting or planning or killing people every night. We were just hanging out, having a good time. 